In this video, we'll be completing another Boyle's Law calculation. While scuba diving at a depth of 66 feet, so you're 66 feet underwater, you have three liters of air in your lungs. You hold your breath and ascend to the surface. What volume does the air inside your lungs now occupy? This is something um, that you'll need, this conversion. 33 feet of water equals one atmosphere. So this means for every 33 feet that you descend in water, so for every 33 feet of water that's on top of you, that contributes an additional one atmosphere of pressure. So we're dealing with pressure and volume, so that's Boyle's Law, so use this equation. Okay, you have three liters of air in your lungs, so that's what we're starting with. So V1 is three liters. And then it says, what volume does the air inside your lungs now occupy? So when you've ascended to the surface, they want to know what is the volume inside your lungs. And that's all the information they directly give us in the problem. So we'll have to either infer or do some calculations to get um, the pressures. So when you ascend to the surface, what should the pressure be at the surface? Well, you know that the pressure at the surface um, is about one atmosphere. That's standard pressure. So now the only thing we need is P1. Once we get P1, then we can solve for V2. So what is the pressure when we're 66 feet underwater? Well, 66 feet will be our given. We'll use this conversion factor because for every 33 feet you are deep, there's one atmosphere of pressure. So that means when you're 30, sorry, when you're 66 feet deep, you have two atmospheres of water pressure stacked on top of you. That is, of, in a, in of course, addition to the one atmosphere of air that's stacked above you. We can't forget about that. So when you're 66 feet down, you have one atmosphere of air on top of you, and you have two atmospheres of pressure from the water on top of you. So the pressure at the bottom is three atmospheres. So P1 is three atmospheres. So when we solve for V2, we discover that nine liters of air would be in your lungs at the surface. That's a problem, however, because the average lung capacity is about six liters. So you must exhale while ascending to avoid lung damage or something called a pulmonary embolism. That's one of the first things they teach you in scuba diving class is to always exhale when you ascend.